In general, birds are good indicators of environmental health. Knowing something about bird populations through banding specifically allows us to monitor status and trends of those bird populations over time. The MAPS bird banding program stands for Monitoring Avian Productivity and Survivorship. It's coordinated by the Institute of Bird Populations and it's implemented by a number of partners and volunteers all following the same procedures of capturing birds, marking them, and hopefully recapturing them over time. These maps show generally where all of those stations are across North America, as well as in New York. The map season has seven sampling periods, typically once every 10 days from May through August. So we end up sampling about seven times each year. We capture birds using a special type of net called a mist net. And you can see how it literally disappears into the surrounding area once you open that net up. It blends right in, so birds really can't see the net as they're moving through the landscape and they literally fly into the net and fall into the deep pockets of that very fine mesh. We carefully extract them from the net place the bird into a bird bag, and that's a way to safely transport the birds back to our banding station. We have a bander with the bird in hand, and we also have a scribe recording the information that's specific to that bird as we walk through the banding process. The first thing that we do is identify the species. Once we know what species we have, we can identify what band size we need. You can see on these bands the unique series of numbers that each band has. We apply that band to a bird's leg using pliers. Once the bird is identified and banded, we determine how old the bird is. Yeah, give it a two. We determine is it an adult or is it a juvenile. We look at the sex of the bird. Is it a male or a female? We also look at a number of different characteristics about the bird's body condition, such as do they have any stores of fat that shows how fit they are, if they have energy reserves. We also look at flight feather molt, new feathers growing in. We also take a variety of measurements. We also weigh each bird before we release it. When it's all said and done, we've collected a variety of information about each individual bird. You can see all of the different parameters that I just talked about are recorded for every single bird that we banned. If you're interested in banding birds and you're looking for how could you possibly help, one of the best things you could do is if you encounter a banded bird, please report it. If you'd like to learn more about the MAPS program in general, here's the address for the Institute of Bird Populations.